side come on. <laughs> so I'm already ten kills in. <laughs> um so a couple tips. Um obviously you have to get them grouped all together, like that's just bare minimum requirement. <laughs> um but in the beginning, when you come out of Olafsted, um, sometimes there's a group uh, of a berserkering bison that spawn with the uh, with the monk NPC or enemy um, called a berserkering orchos or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Um, and and uh, while you're fighting those guys, you literally have to target the monk and kill the monk first, otherwise it'll just be an infinite loop of them not being able to kill you and you not being able to kill them. Like, that's that's how that is. So, anytime you run into, like, a monk boss, um, and also make sure you use a zero scan because that hits through, uh, block and, uh, blindness, um, in instances with the simians later. Um... So, uh, that'll be necessary. Um, and hopefully, I can show you a video here soon of me soloing, um, Atreus the Mighty. Because, uh, that's also a thing you can do with this build. <clears throat> a bit of luck and skill. <clears throat> really? You just gonna... Okay. Fine, just ignore me, I guess. Douches. Oh, there's a Tris, the mighty. Okay. So, 13 kills. I might still die. Like, there's absolutely no guarantee um, that this will succeed. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna chance all of that. They come up here. Or no, they won't come. No. No. I haven't actually tried to fight a scourge vet here. Um, but I'm not that brave. I might be able to do it, but I haven't actually tested it yet, so it's just. No. Not really worth it to me. Alright. Wendigos are coming back. That's good. I believe they're assassins, which specialize in blind. They hit very low. It's quite good. <clears throat> it's just a reoccurring theme, man. Right, right when they're when they're like half down health, they just run away like a bunch of cowards. Okay, now there's a bunch. <clears throat> yeah, I get it. Y'all want a piece of me? Yes, I understand. <clears throat> Trying to move that uh, line there. See, I hate that because every time, every time they run off, try to heal a little bit, it just moves that line a little bit further out of alignment so that it's that much harder to hit all of them at once, and I hate that. <clears throat> You know, when you're at the top, I guess everything has to run just to survive, but like, boy, it sure would be just great if, like, they didn't do that. Sure would make things a lot, a lot less, uh, bore of attrition than, uh, 
they currently are. Heels, man. The heels are the worst. I can only do so much damage with this build. I mean, I guess I could, like, switch out a skill or something. Or, like, I don't know, like, Farmer's Blade or something that just recharges instantly. Um, but... I don't know, man. Like, I mean, that probably would be an arbitrary fix. I just prefer this build. It has two of the uh, energy gaining attacks, for, like emergencies. Oh, trace the mighty! Oh, this is not a good specific position to be in for this battle. Okay, well, I uh, I guess this is this is the uh, the position I am stuck in. <clears throat> They actually, I think I can just casually continue like this, lol. I don't even think I need to have them in line. I think I literally just have enough heal. Oh shit, okay, maybe. Maybe I do. I mean, this is bad positioning. This is very bad positioning. But, like, it's also not the worst. <clears throat> if I could just kill number of these guys in order to get them out of my way so I can reposition, then it's just like, you know, fucking slice and dice until, like, they slowly die. Then it's just, you know, pick an enemy that uh, is the weakest and go for that one first. <laughs> That's, uh, I think that would be the thumbnail, to be honest. <laughs> Ah, in casually tanking like fucking twenty fucking foes, man, in fucking hard mode. That's what's up. Holy shit, mate! <clears throat> Insert a fucking dad coming into the room and asking me if I'm fucking winning meme right there. Holy shit, man! <laughs> Oh, I love this build so much. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Part of the trace, mighty. Doubt I can kill him in a 15 minute time limit that this, uh, Recorder is gonna give me. Duh. Yeah. Now, right now, I'm not even judging. Oh shit. Oh boy, that was uh. That was scary for a second there. Yeah, Atreus the Mighty is just one of those. You gotta hit him. You gotta hit him last. Uh, the 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 time I beat him, I I ended up killing it, like. All ten other NP uh, monster NPCs on me before I could even get to him. So like, or before I started attacking him, and then, you know, after like ten to fifteen minutes, I finally killed him. Um. Yeah, man. It's uh, one of those fights. Just can't take it lightly, and uh, you gotta. Take your opportunity when you see it. Yeah. See what's already here. Alright, now I'm just rambling. I'm gonna shut up now.
<laughs> oh, this this number spam, dude. It's just great. <laughs> Man, this would be like this is the best scenario for me to get recorded. So like if this glitches or something, oh bro, that is gonna like ruin my whole day. Well not my whole day, but like I'll be very disappointed for like an hour and a half. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. That's a cool thing. Oh. Starting to knock me over. Did I not? I thought I picked that up. So right now, these enemies are all unevenly placed. So I have to pick and choose which ones I'm attacking carefully. Because um, if I choose the wrong group, I won't be able to lifesteal enough um, in order to uh, heal in time. So that's that's one of the problems. If I choose like a, a mob with like not enough enemies, then I will just like get screwed and die. Which is, again, the entire point of, like, why it's so important to group them up and line them up. Because then it's just like, at a certain point, it don't even matter anymore. It's like, you're gonna kill them. Stop. Gah! Holy cow, I thought I died. Oh! Oh ho! Damn, that was some luck. Okay. I didn't get my Azure scan up fast enough, so I wasn't able to heal quick. Oh, man. Like, this is... This is... I, I, I have not, like... This on group... Oh, shit. What is up, bitches? Oh, come on. Don't, don't, let this be, don't let this be the point where I die while I'm moving, lol. Alright, so, uh, let me explain these, these skills for the two minutes that I have left. Um, Grunts Aurora makes your size attacks, deal 18 less damage, but they steal 8 health. I'm willing to fucking save the Kinslayer, that's 5 health skill automatically. Um, the Zora Scan makes it impossible for you to block, um, or makes it impossible for you to be blocked and you cannot miss, um, on the foe it's targeted on, but I think it carries to all of the foes as well. For some reason, it seems, at least to me, like it completely negates blind for, like, all of the foes that are adjacent. Um, and I think that might have something to do with me using a scythe. Um, it's possible that because I'm using a scythe, uh, the foe that I'm targeting is just all the foes that I hit. It's, it's possible. I don't know exactly how it works, technically. Um, the Radiant Scythe is to gain energy, and if you have a lot of energy, it's to deal 22 extra damage. Vicious Sweep is once you get an enemy low on health, obviously it's it's to deal 18 damage and then get also 63 health from foes that you have more health on. Um, the Five Pain is to raise that, you know, the line for the Victorious Sweep up higher. Um, and it's also to re relinquish damage. Doliac Signet, obviously to stop knock down lots of things um, in this area, do knock down. Um, and to re max your armor out. Um, Bonetti's defense obviously block and gain energy. And then Grensuora you can also use as a, a casual heal because you can use it every time it recharges. Um, and Jealous Sweep again, another damage energy energy thing.